Oh, hey guys, how the, what the frick? How's it going guys? It's freaking a rainy. You see that out there? It's a freaking rainy day out today. Really garbage. I really hate it when it's like this, but what can you do when you live in a shoe? Get ahead and move to a hat. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, Miss Kitty Cat? Anyway, guys, I gotta pee. I remember like back in the day, I used to have a tripod for this thing and I forgot where I put it. Oh yeah, now I remember, it's in the garage. Time to go out to the garage. Hey, neat, I got shoes on now. All right, um, oh, there it is. Cool, I just need the screw thing and we can mount this on the guy. Nice. All right, there we go. We got you on a tripod now, neat. And by tripod, I mean a monopod so I can get a better angle and have better control. And look at how stupid my dog looks. Look at him, look at him, he's so stupid. You're so stupid looking. Yeah, you are now. You're not even a Pomeranian. You're now a Chihuahua. That's right guys, you wanna turn your Pomeranian into a Chihuahua? Just bring him to the groomers, tell him to shave him down to the wood. Anywho, so I need to get my lunch going because, well, frig, it's gonna be lunchtime soon and I got no food ready. So a little something something I've been making, something something, has been what I call poor man's shepherd pie. Take a pound of uh, whatever, ground chuck, we'll call it. Take a sweet potato. Take a knife that's not a steak knife. Once you have your knife, take your potato. Actually, we're gonna do this all in the Instant Pot because uh, it works awesome in here. So. Put your little cage thing in your instant pot. And then take your potato, cut it in half. So you got, like this one here is already growing roots. I could probably go outside and plant this and get potatoes, but whatever. And then basically, once you got it cut in half, you want to slice it into like smaller chunks. Of course, this works better if you have knife control. I don't have knife control. I don't know what the hell I'm doing with my life, but it's okay. Then once you got it all sliced up, you just lay it along the little grate thing in the bottom of your Instant Pot to make like a little platform. Now, you can peel these if you want. I don't, because I don't really care. But you do you, I'll do me. In the end, things are getting dead. Next, take your log of meat or whatever. If you buy it in the styrofoam container, it's fine. People get grossed out when I show them this tube meat. I don't know why. It's the same thing. It's just it comes in a plastic tube versus non-biodegradable styrofoam and shrink wrap. But anyway, uh, go ahead and open up your tube of meat and flop it into your pressure cooker. Now, because we are using a pressure cooker, we have to add water to it. So go ahead and put about a half cup to a cup of water right in there, let that soak in. Season the taste. I'm going with pitter patter powder because pitter patter powder is pitter patter delicious. There we go. Once all said and done, you're a sausage in a bun. Close up your air fryer, your instant pot, press some buttons. I usually go poultry for I will do poultry for 40 minutes on high pressure. Make sure your pressure valve is turned on. Let this thing do its thing. And we'll have some poor man's shepherd's pie in no time. Now the reason why I like this, okay? Number one, I'm using a sweet potato. Because sweet potatoes are loaded with uh, beta carotene as well as carnitine. What is carnitine? Well, here's the thing. I got a buddy who's big into bodybuilding but he doesn't like going to the bodybuilding shops like Popeyes and that, as I call them, the muscle dummy stores, and buying supplements. He'd rather do it the old fashioned way. You need a pre-workout, make yourself a cup of coffee. You, uh, you wanna get a pump, you wanna get a wicked pump, eat a sweet potato. You're mid-workout and you're running low on energy, chug some honey. That's how he does it, and I kind of like that because it's a poor man's bodybuilding game. And my buddy's gotten great gains doing this. So rather than going to like Popeyes or, or GNC and buying a $40, 30 serving friggin' pre-workout, you go to Walmart and you pay five bucks and you buy a tub of coffee and then you make yourself some coffee. This year, basically tonight, I'm gonna be doing a leg workout. And uh, this is gonna give me the pump that I need that I'm looking for, that I am totally seeking. Holy crap, I gotta get back to work, okay, bye.
Oh hey guys, it's freaking lunchtime. I just finished getting past my break and now it's on lunch. And she's still on my face. Let's uh, go see how the poor man Shepherd Spy turned out, shall we? Yes, we shall. First, we need to pop the valve. That was anticlimactic. Then, open up the Chamber of Secrets. And that foggy mess is what it looks like. So literally, I just take it, put it into a bowl, and then mash it up with a potato masher. Let's do that now. All right, so that's what it looks like before I mash the shit out of it. And that's what it looks like after I mash the shit out of it. Probably doesn't look too appetizing, but I guarantee you 100% it's not too bad to eat. Unless you don't like sweet potatoes or ground turkey. Then it sucks. I guess now... I think you're just gonna interrupt me like that mid... Whatever. I guess now that uh, Oreo's shaved and he has no more fluff, I can get around to cleaning a bowl of fluff off this carpet, eh? Just gotta fix my vacuum. That's one problem with a Pomeranian who gets super fluffy. Is uh, the carpet beater portion of your vacuum ends up getting all tangled up in his floof. And the next thing you know, your vacuum makes a lot of rackety sounds because the carpet beater can't spin right because it's covered in a dog at floof. That's okay. Anyway guys, I'm gonna be putting in a workout uh, last night I did full upper body. Today I'm gonna do full lower body. So we're gonna do some squats. We're gonna do some well different types of squats. We're gonna do regular squats. We're gonna do uh, sumo squats. We're gonna just basically destroy the friggin' legs. Gonna work calves. Gonna do uh, yeah, just gonna go all in to win and nuke the legs tonight. So today's leg day. So that's what I'm literally doing. I'm trying a different split. Last week or the week before, I can't remember. I was doing a uh, chest and tricep back and bicep or chest and tricep one day but i was doing chest triceps and shoulders and then back biceps and legs and i didn't really like that split because i wanted to do everything at once so i was thinking you know what if we do an upper lower split so we work on the upper one day and the lower the next and then go back and forth back and forth that could be very beneficial so that's what i'm going to do i think turd ferguson wants back inside what do you think? He's trying to shake his fur, but he's got none. You wanna come in? You wanna come in? Anyway guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my workout, listen to some music, get friggin' swole from the waist down, and then, yeah, I'll talk to you afterwards. We'll have a little cheetah chat. Little cheetah chat, cheetah chat. Or, we'll figure something out. Okay, bye! All right guys, you know what's sad? It's like seven o'clock and look at it out there. I remember when it was seven o'clock and it'd be like, I'd be fishing and it wasn't like this yet. This is the time of night where you go down to the government dock or you go to the calendar dock and you could totally sail out some worms and pull in friggin' mad walleye. But we're not doing that today. Also, the fishing videos don't get a lot of views. Nobody really cares about them, so. And with what's happening with the outdoor channels and uh, people's channels getting shut down over them. Yeah, you know, I don't make any money off this channel, but uh, I kind of don't want all these videos to go AWOL either, so maybe I'll pump the brakes on the outdoor stuff, except for camping, because who doesn't love a good camping video if I ever go camping? I think Shipbreak wants to go outside. He's like, maybe stop. Calm down. Relax. Anyway, while well, he's dropping ass with class, another meal that I've been having this week has been uh, just chicken wraps. Finally found them. I'm so happy I finally found them. The low carb pitas by La Tortilla Factory. Eight grams of fiber, 60 calories per, well, per 36 grams. I don't weigh them out, I don't even care anymore. 
I got a new goal for the winter, guys, to put on as much muscle as possible, and for that I gotta eat. So, basically we're gonna let her rip tater chip all winter long, eat good foods, put on some mass, then come the spring, we'll try and burn some fat. That's my battle plan. Whether or not it works, I don't know. Anyway, cooked a piece of chicken. It's right here. Gotta chop it up, break it up, do something with it. Get this piece of chicken all busted up. There's a bone in it too, so that kind of sucks, but when you get them non-deboned, you can pay less and get more. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna rip this thing apart. I'm not even gonna use a knife. I'm gonna separate the meat from the bone by hand. So I'm a savage like that. Okay, Stumpy wants back in. What? What? If you guys know hey, 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 hey. If you guys notice he looks up here, it's because he's got a cookie jar up here and he knows it. What he doesn't realize is there's not many cookies left. No. No, stay down. Ah, oh, whatever. Tell him to stay down, he gets up. Yeah, I found a use for this sun bleached cow cookie jar thing. See, it even says cookie jar on it. I just uh, kind of put all of Oreo's little treats in there. And I was gonna put a battery in it too, cause you can put some batteries up here. I think they're double A's. And every time I open it, it moves. Every time you use the moo, it'll come running. So I think he's getting a cookie. Somebody right now is royally pissed off because Oreo got cookies and she didn't. You want some cookies? Is that what you want? <laughs> nice fail, dude. Learn to cat. What's wrong with you? You want some cookies? Yeah, okay. I remember when Oreo used to be the bigger animal in the house. Then he got a haircut. Now Scampers is bigger than Oreo. Go Team Kitty. Anyway guys, what I normally do is I just like kind of pre-make. I don't make these things right either. Like some people will fold them up so they look like perfect burritos. I don't. I literally take two shells, plop them on the plate. You ready to eat your cookie, stupid? Yep. Okay, I don't know what's going on with the Ziploc bag, but she's not zipping and or locking. There we go. There we go, we did it! I also have with me some spinach, some baby spinach. So normally I just kind of take shell, put chicken in the shell, put some baby spine, I aim the camera at me, put some baby spinach in the shell, and then I'm just gonna kind of move the chicken around here, put the other shell on the plate, throw a bunch of chicken into it. I literally just fold it in half like a taco and drive it in my face hole. There's no method to my madness. If you've been watching the channel long enough, you know that. You know that. I just I just do. Throw some spinach on it. <laughs> Put some real vray main onanos on it. Good enough. Good enough. Bon appetit. Time to go eat. Literally. I don't even care about folding them in half. I'll deal with that when I'm eating. That's what I've been eating for supper. So you probably noticed that my largest meal is my lunch, being that poor man's shepherd's pie. And it's true, that is my largest meal. Um, this here is maybe tops, I wanna say maybe tops 400 calories, maybe. And it's not exactly what I wanna hit, I wanna hit higher, but uh, it, it's fine, it'll do the job. It's so dark in here right now. Anyway, I'm gonna eat and I'll talk to you in a bit. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? That's the kid again. Does it smell good, Scampers? Who's a kitty, kitty, kitty? It's so amazing how she's bigger than the dog. That's pretty awesome, actually. I gotta pee. Anywho, it's getting late. I need to get to bed, because tomorrow is another work day. Tomorrow, I also need to get the garbage ready and get it at the side of the road so that I can get picked up and, uh, you know, take it away. Uh, two more days and the weekend's here. Friggin' right, I can't wait. And we just had a weekend. It's nice to have another one, because, uh, it's always nice to not have to work. Anybody working, you know what I'm talking about. I'm guessing a lot of people are back to work now because uh, things are sort of going back to normal. Also something else that's started in North Bay here, well, North Bay, in Ontario, I think, maybe Canada-wide, I'm not sure, but definitely in Ontario, they passed a ruling where non-essential businesses require your papers in order to go into them, such as restaurants and other establishments, pubs, bars, all that, 
So basically they need proof of your stage two vaccination before you're permitted to enter their area and you know purchase foods and stuff. So you can't really just go to a restaurant now and wear a mask. Now it requires you to be masked and vaxxed. Super fun. Ah well it is what it is, whatever, right? Like I've I've literally gone ever since COVID. I've like say ever since the pandemic, I haven't had any sort of takeout really. Like a fast food here and there, but like I've never been to a restaurant or cared to go to a restaurant since this whole nonsense started. I've learned to cook my own foods at home and not going to restaurants and stuff. You guys remember back in the day though, like every freaking night, the ex and I would be out at like Mexicali Roses or Boston Pizza or trying to think of where else that we may have frequented, but those are the two that really come to mind. Mexicali Roses and Boston Pizza. Every freaking night, we'd be out eating takeout. We'd have a fully stocked fridge, but she never wanted to wait around for me to cook something. She couldn't cook to save her soul. She might be able to now, who knows? I don't know, I haven't talked to her in forever. Really don't care to either because we'll free it. But every night, we'd be going out for dinner. We'd never eat anything in the fridge. God, that was brutal. That was so expensive too. It was like 50 bucks a night for dinner. Sometimes more, sometimes like 60, 70 bucks a night for dinner, just because she didn't want to wait for me to cook. Yeah, can't live that lifestyle, that's for sure. And you know what? That's one thing the pandemic taught me is cooking from home, coming up with ideas for new recipes, coming up with different things and stuff. It's pretty awesome, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. But anyway guys, it's getting late. I need to get to bed. Tomorrow's a work day, pitter patter, have at her. Go from there. So let me know people, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click that like button. If you give the poor man shepherd's pie a try, let me know in the comments down below. Like I said, I use sweet potato. You can use potato, whatever, who cares? Uh, I use ground turkey. You can use ground beef, ground chicken, ground pork, ah, ground moose if you hunt, ground deer, w whatever you feel that you want to use to uh, as your ground chuck, just use it, you know? But yeah, you just use whatever mince meat you, you have. And if you have a meat grinder and you actually have some, like I said, wild game, and you want to give that a try for poor man shepherd's pie, hey, you be you, get her done. It's easy to make. I do it in the air in the pressure cooker because when you take it out, you can easily pound it with the uh, potato masher and your end result is pretty freaking awesome. Anyway, people, on that note, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, guys, remember, fish, lift, cycle, never freaking stop. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.